Hi, I'm Not Yet Dead in name and in nature, and welcome back to Welker Farms. So, um, yeah, it's been a wee while since the last video. Um, I did say that I would do some videoing periodically, um, and then string it all together just when I've got stuff to show. Um, unfortunately, I've lost uh, what was probably best part of an episode's worth of footage, um, which was a bit annoying, slight like technical glitch. Um, so I've missed a few things, so I'll catch you up. It's early spring. As you can see, we've had some snow. Quite a lot of snow. And as you can see, looking at the forecast, we've got more to come. Um, how do I get rid of that? I can't remember. Anyway, um, uh, actually, where am I going? So coming over here. You remember my wood stacks were getting pretty full. Well, they were full. I actually ran out of space on them. Um, I sold a load of wood because the price went up. Um, then the price dropped again. I started to refill the trailer over there, the hook lift. Um, and then had a bit of a glitch. Um, a whole lot of logs came out when they should have been strapped on. So I sold those because I, I was really struggling to get them back on. So that was sort of half a load maybe and then I refill the whole thing again and pretty majorly they're pretty full um, I've just been around again with the snow blow which is why that tractor's up here just around the corner um, and cleared all the roads and I've also taken all of the vehicles all the way down to the main farm and given them all their sort of service given we've you know we've gone over the 12 months um, the other thing I've also done is the price of canola went up quite high at one point so I've sold quite a bit of the canola I had um, I can't remember how much a couple of loads uh, which also brings me to this so I sold the uh, the Flegel and as I said right at the beginning I probably would get I bought the Mayor Boss trailer mod and it looks fantastic and as a result I've also slightly changed it's not quite a perfect match but I, I changed the shade of red on the old lizard twin star here just to um make it match a bit better it's, it's not perfect but it's not quite as clashing as it would have been and also the price of wood has gone up again and we've got a great demand so i've leased a wood chipper and bought that up here too so i thought what we do is we'll start off and we'll sell these load this load of logs here so let's see how we do with that yeah, it's pretty fun. I'm quite pleased with the stacking actually. It's not one of my strongest skills. But actually I'm pretty pleased with the way this went. It looks pretty neat on there. Fairly few disasters while I was doing it, so that straps off. There it goes. That straps off the back. Bring that forward. Whoa! Nice. How did we do? 89,000. So yeah, the price size. So you can see, two days ago, I sold $72,000 worth. Yesterday, there's that odd bit that I'd got, uh, that didn't, I couldn't reload, that was 25,000. So that's another 89,000. That's pretty good. I like that. I've also cleared the path down to the wood chip cell points. So I'm gonna try and get this out of the way now without actually I'll just put it here for now so I kind of want to do it without A getting it stuck and B without you know putting too much snow all over the place so it's good I'm quite pleased with that I'm doing quite well with so although I've just got a great demand and it's still not an amazing price it's a pretty good price but as you can see I've I've, I've made pretty good money out of the wood that I had which is quite pleasing So let's give this a go. Get ourselves a tree. Turn the harvester on. Oh, so we're all. Oh, I must have reset because it's been. Okay. So we're all meter cut length, which is fine. That's the easiest way. And then can I. You'd hope it's tracked. You'd hope it'd get over the snow. Good. So yeah, I thought we'd do a bit of this. 
They do a load of two wood chips. I don't expect it to take us all that long. And uh, well, I hope that some of the other prices will keep going up too. Uh, they will sell some more. I'm still went to get, you know, pretty decent prices on wheat. It goes up to a price, not an amazing price in any way. Uh, haven't the great mind. Haven't really had a green even price yet, which is a bit disappointing. Um, but hey, we'll get there. We're not in a rush for the money as such, so it doesn't matter too much. So push it that bit further that way. Hopefully that's about right. Good. Let's see how we do. I do love this um, trailer. It looks really good. But yeah, the snow is a bit much. I've cleared a whole path all the way back to the main farm. Goodness me, it took me a long time. I had to do it at about, I don't know, four miles an hour. Just to make sure that the, uh, oh, whoops, oh, wrong button. Just to make sure that the, um, oh, that was a bit dumb, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, just to make sure the snow globe can cope with it. Let's move that out of the way a sec. That was my fault. Or Dumbo. Not to worry. Yeah, interesting point to note, actually. I tried to, to record this um, previously, um, and I don't know if it was because it was surrounded by snow, or just, I don't know, the truck. But anyway, I, I, I got the Raybo, um, is it the Xylo chip, uh, you know, the black sheet model wood chip, which I've used before on Spectacle Island without any problems at all. Um, but I was having real problems with it being on the back of the 850 hook. I had to reset it a couple of times. And when I got it here and put it on the ground, um, it wouldn't unload into the trailer, which is a bit odd. Um, so yeah, so I don't know why that would be, so I've, I've gone back to the, I mean, it would have been perhaps a bit easier to use than this one, just because it's got that nice wide belt, and I can run slightly bigger chunks of logs. But yeah, it was a bit weird, uh, and a little bit frustrating, but it's fine. I can always go back to the old faithful here. Standard in-game wood chipper. I don't mind that. Attached to the rear weight. Oh, that's quite funny. <laughs> it's on the back. I brought it over the tractor behind the snow, you know, while I was in the snow balloon. Oh well. Didn't do any harm. I think, if I remember right, the capacity of this trailer is 56,000 litres. So uh, I expect it'll take a little while for it to fill up. It's a great trailer. Still, already at 15,000, it's not doing too badly, is it? If I'd have actually done this properly and not messed up, we'd have, fit, we'd have done it by now. Probably would have been about half full, but it's not so bad. Not too heavy? Yeah. Yeah, we've been quite a bit of logging late, and my five year old decided that he wants to try farming this in the day too. So he's just started on Mercury Farms, which is a great looking map. Um, I haven't and don't plan on doing a map tour. Um, I've just been, just not had the time recently, as you've noticed, given the delays between getting my videos out. Um, and anyway, as usual, Mr. CDP has done his, and it's far better, so go watch that. Far better than I could have done. Uh, it's a great map. Loads of brilliant ideas. But yeah, so I thought it would be a good one for my, my boy to start off on. Lots of good ways to make money, and one of the things he wanted to do is logging, so I've been doing this with him as well. Simple chainsaw into the wood chipper, into the trailer. But he's also, you know, started selling water and stuff like that. There's lots of easy ways he can make money without ever worrying about his skills of, you know, Combining, etc. They'll get there. Okay. 
mods, good mods too actually. I, I may yeah, if I get time I might do a bit of a mod roundup for those couple of those few mods that have come out recently. The um the portrait would have loved that when I was on when I was doing Onkstein, my Onkstein map. Yeah, the the portrait mower. Rather like the Massey Ferguson cutter. It's brilliant. Triple A modding. As always. Great job. Uh, yeah, I love that. The mower, tedder and windrow and tedder. All in one. It's brilliant. Right, one tree. So how much is one tree? Yeah, it's only half full. I haven't checked. Is the price holding? Oh, it is. Good. Yeah, you see what I mean about the wheat? 593 is not so good. Canola, 1078. Soybeans are still going up. Keep an eye on that. That'd be good. Corn got me excited at one point and then topped out again. So we've still got some logs in those bays. We could either try and pick them up and feed them into the chipper or just put them back on the back of the lorry or just drive them over. There's only a few of them left. I could just drive them over the wheel loader. So I'm going to do that as well. Yeah, I'm slightly nervous. Um, I've got, if you remember, only one of my fields. Um, I was suddenly hit at the end of last year with uh, frost frozen fr oh that's that's just messed up isn't it uh, frozen ground so I couldn't quite manage to turn that back in anyway uh, so I couldn't do any cultivation at the end of the year after I'd finished harvest um, which has left me with quite a number of fields Harvested but not cultivated or sown. I've got one. I'm really not doing this very well. Not with it today. It's not going to go in. So I will need to come out, move the truck. There we go. I could do an end on got to be pretty accurate but with all the snow around there we go that'll do should be right oh come on it's stuck in me coming out No. Oh dear. Excuse me a moment. Seriously, it's just not my day, is it? it? Really, isn't it? It's very dangerous. Playing in the woods like that, and all it's about this one. 
There we go. Good grief, this was supposed to be a quick and easy process. Come on. That's better. Now we're getting somewhere. Good. So yeah, sorry, I thought, like I was saying, I'm trying to catch that, oh, it's okay. Um, yeah, I've got all these fields needing cultivating and sowing, and uh, I say, you know, got more snow forecast tomorrow. It's gonna rain the day after, but, you know, hopefully that'll get rid of the snow. But it does kind of mean, you know, field work. You know, I'll last day of spring if I'm lucky but it could be as late as early summer and then we've got a problem really but I'll look at look in a minute look at the camera I haven't looked yet to see what the impact of that is but uh, yeah it could mean getting you know everything done in a day but then you know we're gonna get some more big equipment we'll get another big bug maybe at least one of those uh, get the um, sea talk um, cedar, that was quite cool because I haven't used that before. Oh, they look very pretty all lined up like that, but not very helpful. Seriously, come on. Just get in the way. There we go. To keep an eye out when those chips stop going up, up the ramp, up the chute. Pipe, as it's called. It's taken most of this third tree. We didn't think it would. Just give it a sec. Right, I'll put one more in. Let go. Let it still chip it. And send it up the pipe. It will. Okay. Then I'm pretty comfortable with whatever's left should be left in the 5,000 that uh, the chip will quite happily store temporarily surely that's full now right surely yep 65,270 litres that is full slightly odd number cool let's go sell let's see what we get mind you we can make a rough guess it's 458 dollars a thousand litres what's that being bought about just less than thirty five thirty thirty five thousand about thirty thousand dollars. Uh that said though, this could be tricky. Let's see how we do here. Need to nip out and open the doors. Which don't open very far either. Yeah, this snow could be a bit of a problem. Okay. Bear with me. very much a problem I feel. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. No, you can't. Okay. Definitely not. Bear with me. Right, 
took a little bit doing, but as you can see, cleared quite a bit of snow out. Managed to free the truck. Challenges of uh, farming in the winter. And here we go. Be worth it, I feel sure. It's very much so by the look of it. That price holding. Whoops. Yep, it is. Very good. And that soybean price is still going up nicely too. So. be expecting any high prices canola maybe soybeans should be at their highest in the summer according to recent market trends which is pretty much I believe what this is supposed to reflect corn should be the same should have been pretty high midwinter wasn't really but maybe in the summer okay I mean, wood chips were supposed to be at their highest but weren't now are high-ish but According to that, not as high as they could be. Come back one. Yeah, so I, I can't sow wheat if I can't do it on the third on the third month, third period of um, spring. So if not, we'll just be basically sowing soybeans and corn. Uh, so we'll just have to see. We've also got our poplars, of course, which of course have stopped. $29,000, not bad at all. Yeah, we've also got our poplars, which of course have pretty much stopped growing now, the ground's frozen, so we've got to wait for the thaw to come before we can uh, start that. So yeah, still in a bit of a waiting game. I was kind of thinking we'd have had a lot more price, price rises and, um, you know, that, that by now that the, the snow will be receding, that the ground will be starting to warm up, but not yet. So I guess price it's still holding. So it's worth doing some more. Good. So I guess I'll keep on with this. Bit of a short episode, but I just wanted to check in, give you a bit of an update. Say it's a bit annoying that I lost you know, me selling the canola and whatever else, but, you know, you know we are now, we're all up to date, so we'll, uh, I'll keep pressing on with doing more wood, uh, wood chips, might do some more logs, might sell the logs I've got, I've got the chipper now, price is good for, for chips, so now's a good time, and, uh, we'll, uh, we'll see where we get to, should I get any more price rises? Good prices, friend. Think I will, you know, either do some more footage or there we go. Got a few more bits going in, um, or I'll just do a little short episode or something. I don't know. We'll see. Otherwise, oh, hopefully we'll be able to get back in the field soon. Otherwise, yeah, this year's going to be a bit of a rush job, a bit tight. But I said I'll, um, you know, plan to. Uh, but yeah, I'm not getting this right today. No coordination whatsoever. But yeah, I do plan to get to, to lease some big, some more big equipment this year. You know, the the, the bigger the seed hook seeder. Probably get another big bud. So maybe I'll get a couple of different seeders, and we can have you know. I do like do like to get loads of different things going on in the same field. It's quite fun. It's a great map for that. So we shall uh, we shall see. And yeah, maybe a necessity. We're going to be a bit of a rush to get our field work done because they all need, you know, manure, cultivation, etc, etc. It's quite a lot of work and one of them, of course, needs ploughing still. Number 15 that we bought last year, late last year. Anyway, so yeah, lots to do and uh, hopefully won't be too long before we can get back on it. Anyway, I do hope you enjoyed this brief check-in on the goings-on on Welcome Farms. If you did, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet and you'd like to, please feel free to do so. And, um, yeah, drop us a line, any thoughts, any comments. Uh, as I said on my last South Mountain Creamery video, it's a bit of a last hurrah for uh, 17. So, you know, anything in particular you'd like to see, 
any ideas. I'm open to try all sorts of things, you know, new mods or whatever else that you might want to see. Just let me know, drop me a comment. And as I always say, spread the word. Oh, come on. Spread the word. You know, be nice to increase the channel, get a few more views in and stuff. So it'd be great if people can do that, if they know people who might be interested. And uh, otherwise, I'll look forward to working you back to Worker Farms very soon. Bye-bye for now.